President Barack Obama chose to send the message in person, the U.S. announcing economic sanctions against 11 people close to Russian President Vladimir Putin after Crimea voted to join Russia, the U.S. calling these celebrations and the vote itself rigged, illegitimate, illegal. As an initial step, I'm authorizing sanctions on Russian officials, entities operating in the arms sector in Russia, and individuals who provide material support to senior officials of the Russian government. And if Russia continues to interfere in Ukraine, we stand ready to impose further sanctions. The European Union announced that they would sanction 21 people as well by freezing assets and banning travel across their territories. The U.S. is going as far as to label the people they've targeted as cronies of Putin. They include ousted Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych, who called on the Russian president to send troops into his country after he fled. Within Crimea, interim Prime Minister Sergei Aksionov is on the list, as well as Vladimir Konstantinov, Speaker of the Crimean Parliament. And even the deputy Russian prime minister is targeted, Dmitry Rogozin. But he seems to be laughing it off, posting on Twitter, quote, I think some prankster prepared the draft of this act of the U.S. president. Administration officials couldn't actually say if any of the people they're targeting actually have assets in the United States, but they are very clearly hoping that by making life difficult for them, they will in turn put pressure on President Putin, who seemed unfazed by it on Monday. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says this was not a decision taken lightly, adding there is still hope for a diplomatic solution. I am pleased that Europe has shown unity here, just as the EU has shown unity in the battle for an OSCE mission, and just as we show unity in repeatedly looking for diplomatic talks which I believe will be the key to resolving the conflict. President Putin doesn't appear likely to agree. Hours after the sanctions were announced, he signed an order recognizing Crimea as a sovereign and independent country. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.